The scuff from cheap rubber shoes on the floor of the station are scattered and in varying degrees of darkness. Every bit as faded as the look of hope on the faces of these very immigrants, college kids, meth heads, felons, and worst of all, children, when the announcement from the PA says, The what daddy bus from Baltimore to New York will be here when it's here, so don't keep oh, coming up and asking God. me if I know anything new. All right, that's me, Patrice. People begin to mutter disappointment aloud, and finally one person said, I can't take this anymore, <laughs> and throws his backpack at a vending machine, shattering the glass. Everyone rates the, mach the machine like a pinata of justice, some grabbing all they can and others just enough, many cutting, many cutting hands on shattered glass, causing bags of trail mix and off-brand honey buns to be stained with flecks of <laughs> meth head blood. As the human piranhas that are Greyhound patrons go back to their corners and stalls to eat the, this catering of vigilante justice, light starts to shine through the glass of the station, flooding the waiting area and pouring into the eyes of all the people in this dirty human fish tank. It's the bus, a child screams. Our cheery to wait bells at a beast couple and matching Ohio State hoodies. No, no, that's the two o'clock from New Haven to Burlington. Now sit down and enjoy your expired skittle because that's the only good news tonight. Also, there's a brand new episode of No Accounting for Taste and that's Kyle <laughs> Kinane's voice makes my asshole wet. What? We're what talking about Greyhound stations. <laughs> Pal, you're good with words. You know that, man? I think the gym is dumb. R did Rachel walk was, in the room? Of course I've eaten a Baconator. Man, if you ain't doing CrossFit, you can get cross <laughs> You're shuffles. right. A long burger's not the worst idea I've ever heard. That's your sitcom right there as a, as a, as a Mr. Fix-It-All who just can't fix his heart. We will not be defending Atlantic City. No accounting for taste. If it's something that somebody loves, let's try and celebrate it instead of uh, shitting on it. Oh, and thank you very much to our sponsor, Factor. You guys looking for some good ready-to-eat meals for a nice sunny active day? Factor's got your back. They are number one ready-to-eat meal kit, and they got nutritious, and it's good for you, and you'll love it. And get a load of this. If you go to factormeals.com slash NAFT50, you're going to get 50% off. Use, use code NAFT50. That's NAFT50 at factormeals.com slash NAFT50. What was that accent? Oh, I don't no. know. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was afraid anything that wasn't super made up would be offensive. So I just went with no, it. Yeah. It's like a weird Boston, not Boston. Yeah, I'm not known for those. An ethnic white. <laughs> yeah, it was a white accent. Just keep it ethnically white. Oh, okay. Oh, baby. Good to see you, pal. How are you? I'm. I feel like I've been on a cross country bus trip. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking. Are we talking about all buses or just the Greyhound bus? We can. Well, we we could talk about all buses. We're talking about affordable, cheap travel on buses. Yeah, like so. Whatever. I'm not talking about. Yeah, every everybody from New York has like, yeah, the Chinatown bus lit on fire. <laughs> like that's everybody's story about that yeah. bus. I guess the buses we're talking about are. Not municipal city buses that are cheap forms of no. travel. Okay, so long haulers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> People truckers. Have you taken a lot of greyhounds? Yeah, yeah. Have you taken a lot of greyhounds? I have taken quite a few, and I have taken a yeah. load of Chinatown buses too, and all of them. Ch Chinatown buses. Chinatown bus goes to where? That's just to New York to Boston. No, there. There's a whole. They go all the way down to like South Carolina or like Atlanta. Like they'll go. Because they have them, like, I think what it is, they have, like, hubs, essentially. So it'll be, like, a Chinatown bus that'll be, like, mostly serve the Northeast. But say you go, like, down to D.C. from the New York hub, then you transfer in, like, uh -huh. D.C. to, like, if you wanted to go to Atlanta. Like, I think that's how they're doing it. But And is it just to, because you get it in Chinatown, or is it a Chinese-run I mean, they're both. Company. Yeah. No, it's, it's run by Polish people, and it's a Chinatown <laughs> bus company. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I don't know. That's where they got a good spot. <laughs> got a good garage down there. Yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> no, it's like, I mean, it's like a, I think they're just calling them China because there's Chinatowns everywhere. And I think it's like the model of the company is probably too like, yeah, this is Chinatown bus company, but we're all franchising these markets or territories, essentially. And, and Chinese, Chinese people love buses. 
no You're fine, buddy. Yeah. Tell me, I, I, tell me your experience with Greyhound buses. Because I think you still take I them just took, I, uh, I just took one the other week. When did I take a bus? Where did I go? I'm going to tell you right now. Where did you go? I took a, I took a from uh, Toronto down to Niagara Falls. How long was that? I don't know, five hours or something. Oh. I, the buses are fine. The bus stations, that's a whole other, because there's, there's people that just, they just let anybody into the there bus is, station. They you are, at least need a ticket to get on the bus. They are the public library of transport. Uh, there is not. Every, yeah, I have never had a problem, and I, it's not like I've taken a ton of them, but I, when it's convenient, I'll take the bus, and the bus stations, gnarly. They I are. I took one. Yeah, I, I forget what where I was. I was getting to Chicago from. Oh, I don't know where I was. Maybe like Fort Wayne or something. Last like bus rides. Always, I'll say this: noise canceling headphones. Mm -hmm. Good, mm -hmm. like over the ear noise canceling headphones. Yeah. You could put me like in the bot. Like you could put me in the st in the steerage class of a ship with the with just like the <laughs> Irish people. <laughs> And I'll be fine. I'll be fine if you give me the good Bose noise canceling headphones. Mm. Really? They've saved they've saved travel for me. Airplanes, everything. I put those on, boom, I'm just immersed in peace. You know, that's the thing though, is that people who are taking the uh the red eye bus from Cincinnati to New York City don't have the money for a, a five hundred dollar. They pair don't of noise. Uh, I do, <laughs> and then uh, the 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 tranquility that that provides. I'm not arguing with you, man. I'm just yeah. Like I and get if, it. when it comes to when it comes out, if I gotta go from like Indianapolis to Chicago or something, and I didn't get a rental car, like flights, easy. I buses are easier. By the time I go to the airport and deal with all the bullshit of an airport and a flight and getting off and the bullshit of the airport again and getting a lift to where I want to go, it's the same amount of time. Per three times it's the money. It's still a five hour chunk of your day. Yeah. With more money, more bullshit that you got to go through with an airport. That's true. I mean, you're not supposed to like drink or whatever on the bus. Do you drink? But you on, could. Do you drink on the bus? I have. Yeah, I'm sure I have too. Usually, usually I'm like, usually if I got a show that night, like I'm not trying to live out. Like a Merle Haggard song. I'm like, I just got to get to the thing. But the the bus that yeah, so I got to Chicago that one, and that the, the bus stations have always been disastrous. There was some guy, I don't know what was going on. I don't know if there's like sex games you can play on your phone, but there was a guy in a bathroom at the Chicago bus station. But there's like some like I just, the guy was in a stall, okay, and I just heard like. And J Japanese animation type of voices, and this guy was like banging around in there, going, "Yeah, left wrist, left wrist, pop a titty out, pop a titty out, yeah, left wrist." Like he was playing a game oh. that was <laughs> sex. That was masturbating. And I was like, "All right, I don't know. I wasn't trying to find out more, Dog. but I was also like, I'm. He's in the wrong <laughs> societally." But I'm in a bus station bathroom. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna let this go. There is like a. I think a, a common problem is like, well, this is what I signed up for. Like when you're going to kind of a lower level of a service, like like a Greyhound or a Chinatown yeah. bus, you're like, yeah, man, it's gonna be like this because it was twelve bucks. Like this is how things go. Yeah, the port, like absolutely. For as much as New York City has been washed over and gentrified and cleaned up in a lot of ways, the Port mm. Authority <laughs> is still the seventh circle of hell. It is fucking insane. Like That's the main bus, yeah, bus yeah, terminal? Yeah, it's in Times Square, and it is. You go in, and there's just birds flying around <laughs> like it's, an, it's a, the world's saddest nature sanctuary. There's always some fucking looney tune like singing out front and that's always a little fun and then there's like uh there are so many bus companies too which is which you don't think there are you only think yeah. there's like so they're so regional and the service 
even at that low a level, varies wildly. <laughs> like they, j- yeah, it's fucking. Oh my god, dude! I, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not trying to like. For me, like I'm, I'm a little, I'm you know five eight on a good day, so space isn't a concern. So when I travel, again. My money went to those headphones <laughs> and maybe having enough drinks to chill out Good before heck. the travel portion. I can put up with a lot. I've never taken some route. I don't even think I could think of a time where I've had somebody sitting next to me on the bus. I am. And that's so crazy. I, know it's I always feel like Janelle, I'm the most Janelle James. Oh, really? Good. I know Janelle James has a joke about like people like we're getting angry on flights. They go, oh, we got bus people <laughs> on airplanes now. <laughs> and she nailed it. Like, I'm fine with the bus because I've flown Spirit and I've watched more fist fights about to pop off on a Spirit Airlines or Frontier Airlines than I've ever seen on a Greyhound. It is fucking crazy the amount of violence that can take place on a bus and people cannot be kicked off. Like, I've never you seen, know, like if you someone mean a plane? Starts, like being a fucking psycho on a plane, like a stewardess or somebody would be like, we're calling the FAA or we're calling whatever. Yeah. And on a bus. The driver will just keep driving. The driver is so alone. That is I've, a moving lighthouse. I've never captain. seen it. <laughs> it is like it's a, it's the shit I've seen. On, this is the loneliest mess. No one is backing this dude up. He's just getting. <sighs> he's taking heavy fire in a hot gnome in, hot zone in Vietnam. This dude is all alone and punching but, his fucking heart out. I've I've never seen oh, it then. God, because I've had the headphones on. I'm looking out the window. <laughs> I've seen I felt I, the last guy I had. He tells everybody he's like he's like if you're on your phone, you use your headphones. If you're if you're having a conversation, this guy was very adamant. Every bus ride, again, it's maybe two or three times a year I'm taking a grand. Yeah, so it's not a lot. So I don't have a good sense of the average yeah. of what's behavior is like. But they're pretty strict about like shut the fuck up and don't be an asshole. Like I've I've like maybe I'm been taking it now. All these drivers are at their wits end with it of like, <laughs> you're not going to fuck around on my bus. So this is Doug's bus and Doug is the law. Yeah. <laughs> get it out. Get it out in the station. I mean, I got the last one I took. I got out at Niagara Falls and there's a shirtless guy screaming and security was just there. Like he's like, they're like, he's not doing anything to arrest him. He's just shirtless and yelling at everybody. And so cops were just like, all right, well, we'll watch him. <laughs> yeah. And he was just, he, he just doing loops around the bus station. Everybody was like looking at the cops and looking at the guy and just going like, I'm going to keep my head down. Yeah, well, it's, it's so funny. It's like, yeah, man. Um, he's not, I guess he's not technically doing anything wrong. He's just being loud and yelling. So. Yeah. But, and like, I mean. I, I also have also not taken a bus ride. Right. doing excessive force all the time and now you want him to do this thing where this guy's basically not bothering anyone or he's only bothering people. Yeah. But he's not threatening anyone. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah. The whole cops. We should do an episode about cops. But it's fucking. We'll get a lot of calls. A cab. But also, now you guys don't want to do your job and everybody's stealing my shit. <laughs> oh, wh- whoops. <laughs> a lot of, yeah. A lot of fucking, a lot of green hairs backtracking on their ideas about cops right now. <laughs> a lot of septum, a lot of septum rings uh, missing some personal possessions. <laughs> then cops aren't around. Uh, I, I, but I, I, I have also have not taken one that's been over six hours long. I've so taken taken one that's that been. Still. I took a try to town that was twelve hours, and then damn to where to where from New York to Cincinnati. I think it was like ten or twelve hours. That's rough. Yeah, and by the way, especially then when guy, you get off the bus, you just you're you're going to Cincinnati. Like not nothing gets better. Yeah, this guy did not give a fuck. It was <laughs> when a bus is traveling faster than all the other cars on the road. That's a little scary. <laughs> but yeah, and yeah. He, he was like going like weaving through the Ohio Valley or whatever we were going through, and just. Boom, like just mm-hmm. like recklessly changing like it's like okay i'm past this subaru i'm getting over right now like yeah yeah and i was like fucking fried. king of the road baby yeah and you know who picked me up from that bus station sarah vank ellen vank sister oh. oh yeah and then i hung out with her and her firstborn for breakfast when oh. i was like bloodshot and red-eyed and tired from a giant <laughs> 
What a, that sentence, I, it was grammatically correct, but it didn't sound right. I hung out with her and her firstborn for breakfast. <laughs> I, don't know why, I don't know why that sounded. It's, I, it's, there's nothing wrong with that sentence, but it sounded no, you're right. off-putting. I, uh, <laughs> I forgot about this. I was on one. Bring me your firstborn for my first meal you Got any holiday sauce back there? Um, I, uh, I remember... We had this bus driver who kept like hitting rumble strips on one of on uh, when I was on, and then he like fucking jerked the wheel one time, and everybody was like, "Jesus Christ!" Yeah, and somebody goes, "Man, what are you drunk?" Just like scream something at him, <laughs> and then he like messed up again. He goes, <laughs> he "Got off the PA," and he said something along the lines of like, "Contrary to what some of you think, I have not been drinking." <laughs> like I, <laughs> like he goes. I am completely sober, <laughs> and like he kept missing exits and shit. And he, he would go like, and this was like you know because it's a long no. ride, so you have, you're not going like oh just I'll pop around. It's like another twenty minutes added yeah. to everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God damn it! I forgot yeah, I've been it. at like the, the 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 stops when everybody's just shuffling in, just the <laughs> the the warm seat of like a the warm seat of a TA. TA truck stop bathroom because yeah. everybody in that bus is just sitting on the same toilet. Because <laughs> you can't. I mean, it, it's a fun game to pee on the bus. I'm not. I'm not rocking a deuce. No, but, if, but some like people shameless, soulless. It's a lot of do. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of. Yeah, no, you don't poop on the bus. You pee on it. it takes a lot of core strength. <laughs> yeah. I will also say the mad dash for like you have 20 minutes. We are. I am. This is our break, and the amount of people that are just like mm-hmm. sprinting to the subway inside mm-hmm. the Love's truck stop, mm-hmm. going like, oh yeah. And I've seen people left before too. It's Oof. really, yeah, yeah. Like chasing the bus down. Yeah, I think it's like because I think some of these bus drivers are just like fuck this. Like you were late. This is the only thing I have control of over in my life. Oof. It's the. They're on a schedule. <laughs> not if not if you. They look, they were. They, they, I've heard them say up. like, "I will leave you." I've heard them say like, "You will get yeah. left." And I'm like, "Man, motherfucker, these guys don't play around." I've taken a three day nice. bus before. Yeah. What? Yeah. That's what from what? Bad. I. It was from <laughs> right, Portland to like Milwaukee or somewhere. It was like two Close. and a half days. Yeah. Uh, and the like you will never know true struggle until you're on an overnight bus for the second night and you are stopping like every hour in the middle of nowhere for people to get on the bus trying to keep that extra seat <laughs> so you can lay down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Charlene. Oh, man. I didn't win. I did not win. <laughs> You got to really, yeah, you got to turn up the ghoulishness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. (laughs) I think any amount of exposed, like on a fella, exposed midriff would keep Mm -hmm. a a seat Mm -hmm. open. Not for a lady, but a fella, if you just got a That's going to get you some seating. Yeah. Uh, On a lady. I think, honestly, I know this is not Greyhound, but I think. I think you get a discount if you're a dude that wears a sleeveless shirt on Spirit Airlines. (laughs) I think there is. I think I think you get I get you get money off if you got a tank top and you're getting on Frontier, <laughs> especially if you're too wide for the seat. You are you are pressing the flesh in a more literal, <laughs> non-political way. Oh, no. You are sp- you are spill- spilling over on some people. Oh. <laughs> but I, yeah, I I I know all the easy the easy things to make fun of about a bus. I just you know what? Knock on wood. I had not that bad experiences i'm sure i'm overdue for my greyhound experience i can't wait to get the first text from you after that <laughs> it's coming. i mean the, bu- you know the bus stations up. yeah the yeah the bus stations woof that that guy just say like yelling at his phone like pop a titty out <laughs> like i don't know i can't even think of what this is i just and then you know what they're like oh, yeah the bus stations feel like unsanitary hospitals you know, like, because the seats are, like, just all, like, out 
plastic or like, you know, meant not to be stained and the floors are so, and the lighting is so similar to that. And like, uh, it was, there was like six people smoking out in front, <laughs> maybe three and a half legs between the lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> just, a, just a bunch of, just a bunch of teeter totters out there. <laughs> Trying to try to try to trying to bum cigarettes off people. Oh That's God. oh man, <laughs> you will never get asked for more money. Look like an old country fence. Everything <laughs> leaning against each other. <laughs> you will never get asked for more money than outside of a bus station. Yeah, like like yeah. If they see, what like, makes you think I got extra money? I just took the bus here. <laughs> yeah. Well, some people will come up to you. Like I would, I would buy like a sandwich or something in one of these like gas stations. And chips or something, and a couple mm-hmm. bottles of water. And people would see you walking with a bag, They're like, "Hey, do you have any money or any? Like, do you have food?" And I'm like, "Yeah, here in my hand that I bought. <laughs> I don't, I don't like want to. I'm just here's the thing: is like, it's not that I don't want to help somebody, it's... but the moment I do that, that person's going to be asking me for a ride from the bus station. They're going to start talking. It accelerates. Yeah, it's." Give a give a penny, take my whole fucking life, because I am not going to do this to my. But I I had a new approach just this. Uh, we were both in Montreal, and the first night I was in there, I was out at one of their uh, convenience stores. They're called Couch Tards. <laughs> there, okay. Couch Tards. I was at the Couch Tard. Yeah, but All there right, was uh, they got a lot of. Uh, that's what they're called. I know they're called Couch Tards, and they. But they, there was uh, one person in there that was pretty cooked, street person, and was just you know speaking in French, but like, wee, wee, wee. and I'm like, what? Ah. And they just put it on the counter with my stuff, <laughs> like, yeah. And I was like, I, I don't even have the right language to argue with you and i kind of applaud the audacity of like and i'll take these and i was like sure <laughs> okay, yeah ring them up man <laughs> and i i'm pretty sure i know that merci is thank you in french didn't hear that uh but bonsoir whatever when i was, when I was up there with david bory and i was when drinking on one of the nights we left the hotel party mm-hmm. and uh been drinking on all the nights. Yeah, well that's true. But uh the way she just came up and uh, uh she gave us our check and I was like, Merci and she just goes <laughs> she went oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, it's, like she was kinda teasing, it's hard but to also nuts. it yeah. definitely was not her favorite <laughs> attempt at language. But... To get us back on track, well, when I, I was I, um <laughs> 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 well, I took a bus to France once. When, uh, like, I don't know, maybe I was in college or something. My cousin got married uh, in the house where the Haley Bop people murdered themselves. That's a story for a different time. But um, what? so that's where he got married at. It was the same house of the Hale Bop people. Hale Bop? That's a wedding location now? Uh-huh, yep. Or it was then. Okay, well, you, well so anyhow, explain this to me later, but yeah. So anyway... Um, <laughs> my dad's like you know he's a irish alcoholic or recovering alcoholic at that t- time you know big temper mm-hmm. and my uncle is the exact same and all of my cousins from boston come out to california for my cousin's wedding and i have uh 14 cousins from boston all of them come and when they get off of the plane my cousin david and my uncle jerry get in a huge fight my cousin David does mm-hmm. not leave the airport. He goes directly to the Greyhound station and takes a bus back t- from California to Portland, Maine. And all of my cousins go to the wedding. We all go to the wedding. We have a great time. They fly back to Portland, Maine and beat him back. Of course. Because it was like a seven-day journey. <laughs> what? Yeah, what city do you think he got to when he's like, I could have just apologized? <laughs> fuck. Knowing my uncle. Like, how none. far? Like, think, the Inland Empire? No like, like, one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe Vegas, maybe. <laughs> yeah. The whole way God. back. Ugh. Am I crazy or did Graylon used to have like a pay like 400 or 500 bucks and you can travel anywhere for a month? Mm-hmm. 
kind of. I think there was they that did. was a thing, right? Yeah, one summer. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they had like an unlimited. Which then you buy a ticket and it's like 20 bucks. You're like, yeah, I don't think this is worth it. I don't think I can spend $400 on Greyhound in a month. Well, like the thing, I think the thing is like, if you're trying to see a bunch of stuff in a month, you're just on that bus because it's going to take, yeah. you know, San Francisco is going to take you 12 hours from LA or something. You know, it's like, it's fucking insane. Yeah. It's not, again, it's good for like, I got a day to kill. Before I have a show, like I got a show the next night in a city. It's it's convenient that way, barring any complications. And it's so nice, like oh, you just get you don't even have to go inside the bill. I've walked up through the bus ramp and been like, is this the one? They're like, yep, and just got. You don't even have to go in the building. <laughs> you don't. That's great. I They're w- like, yeah. What do you got in the bag? Not. It's none of our business. Get on. Oh, see. What is that bag full of human heads? Get in there. We'll get to that one. Um, yeah, there's a. I will say this. Dinger took the Chinatown. Gabe Dinger took the Chinatown bus up from Philly once to come do shows in New York when he was there, and mm. he said, "So I took the Chinatown bus because it was cheaper, like you said." But uh, 20 minutes into the drive, the guy just pulled off, and we waited in an empty parking lot for 30 minutes, and then some dude right up and just put three huge boxes under underneath the bus, and then we left. <laughs> yeah i mean the Ooh. the 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 lack of rules the wild west for right. the passenger is also for the driver you know they can subsidize i don't yeah subsidize that income that's fucking again good. it's not there but you never see a dog at the at the bus station i mean i've seen dog just people's dogs no service vest at all just hounds <laughs> Just bought, somebody with a collection of un of un of un hounds without any shots. Get on there. <laughs> I wonder what the weirdest pet brought on a on a great would be. I, I don't think you know what I'm gonna look pets on Greyhound, but yeah. they they say you that they any? only allow pet. assistance animals. Yeah, I'm sure, but. The kind of people who are taking Greyhound buses will bring snakes on of course. without any kind Again, of- yeah, they, you, they're not checking your bag. Yeah. They check nothing. Oh, God. No. You could just have an AK-47 and nine <laughs> ferrets, and Greyhound's fine with it. It's the best. As long as they don't see it. <laughs> I found a Reddit post. It, Does, yeah. Has anyone taken their rats on a Greyhound bus? I want to bring mine. <laughs> But you don't take rat, rats take Greyhound independently for a change of scenery. <laughs> They're scared of the. Snow. I think rats. I think rats go. Yeah, there's, you got some. You got some snowbird rats that are just getting on. <laughs> they're getting. They're getting out of New York. Oh, it's November. We're going down to Palm Beach. <laughs> I just think we got a, rat little, in a little little su- little suitcase full of yeah. cheese. Yeah, a little suitcase full of cheese. <laughs> like sunglasses and like a straw hat. <laughs> Just saying things to his buddies like, you, you think know, that girl from last summer still works at Myrna's Ale House? <laughs> Do you know how much you know how much shrimp they just throw out down there? <laughs> it's like the raccoons from the great outdoors. Just so excited yeah. about Do these gators don't rats. even finish half the shit they eat? Uh, <laughs> There's well, got to be beach rats, right? Uh, they're, I'm sure. Maybe they're just not efficient on sand. Oh, We're getting off yeah. off topic. We are, well, yeah, there's a rarity. Why don't we take a quick break and we'll get to some actual facts? <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back with this word from our sponsor, someone. Looking for calorie conscious options this summer? Try delicious dietitian approved calorie smart meals with around or less than 550 calories per serving. One of the things I really love about Factor is I can tailor it to my diet. So, and temptation is big for me. So if I don't need to be eating a bunch of carbs, I'll just order something that's like, no, there's no carbs in it. And they'll send it right to my door. I'll have five or six of them in a week. And it's kind of like when my folks got divorced, but my it's not hungry man dinners that my dad was feeding us in a motel. It's, it's much better and healthier. <laughs> 
So, you know. I'll take it from here, Shane. With Factor, <laughs> you can rest assured that you're making a sustainable choice. We offset 100% of our delivery emissions, source 100% renewable electricity for our production sites. And They're hippies, so that's nice, too. You're eating good food, it's good for you, and a company's nice for the world. Get out of town. What more can you ask for? Head to factormeals.com slash NAFT50 and use code NAFT50 to get 50% off of this already righteous company. Tastes good, is good for you, good for the environment. That's code NAFT50 at factormeals.com slash NAFT50 to get 50% off. And we're back no, looks like with nobody's the good and the fight. bad of the great. <laughs> <laughs> What's I mean? What even is bad about Greyhound? Uh, Maybe that in 2008, Tim McLean, a 22 year old <laughs> carny, that detail's not necessary. <laughs> uh, you kind of just assume that's every fifth person on the Greyhound. Oh goddamn! I was supposed to hang on to the back of the Tilt World to get to the next stop, but they left without me. <laughs> He was asleep on the Canadian Greyhound from Edmonton to Winnipeg when his seatmate, 40-year-old crazy person. Did you write this, Charlene, or was this <laughs> copy and pasted? Copy and pasted. And pasted. <laughs> All right. Well, I'd love to give a credit to who it works to. Vince Waiguang Lee, mm, Greek fella, <laughs> pulled out a big Rambo knife in quotes. <laughs> Pulled out a big Rambo knife and started casually stabbing Tim in the neck and chest. I remember Me this too. one going down. Well, the other patch and there flipped his shit and fled the bus. Lee then sawed off McLean's head and held it up for the crowd outside. Okay. So we, uh, he's a crazy person, got to bring a big knife on the bus. This, te- this, Greyhound's not responsible for this. No. This guy was in a stabbing mood. So if if this happened at a Taco Bell, this, this story was going to make it this guy to was our Taco lose Bell it some episode. Way or another. Yes, yeah. This is I will mental s- illness is the issue here. I will say that being said, Greyhound does nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing to make sure. <laughs> I don't even think they have seatbelts on these fucking boats, mm-hmm. buses. Like they do nothing to make people safe on these things. That is a hundred percent. But what? What is it their responsibility? I don't know. I mean, I don't know exactly what it would look like. What does I mean? Like if if the TSA has to make sure people don't bring shits on plane, there could be a lesser version of that at a bus station. But also, some security at a bus station might actually be a nice deterrent for some of the. The security shit. is in the. The security's in the bus station. They're not on the bus. There's no like. I mean, like a government federal agent. One. There's not, no federal not, agent not the riding the bus. At his phone. <laughs> Well, someone gets sexually yeah. assaulted in a bathroom. Like, yeah, I, I don't think the feds are sending undercover guys with like ankle pieces onto the bus just in case shit goes down. I'm not saying it has to go there. Because it's a, it's a bus. You just stop. <laughs> like, it's not like a plane. Like, you're not taking out the trade center with a Greyhound. You know what's crazy? Is that that was the only person that got? <laughs> yeah, Vince Wegwan Lee. <laughs> yeah, that that's the only, the only person who got killed on that bus that day. Like he, he let everybody else go. Because if there were uh, other, yeah, people- I don't know about, le- I don't know about <laughs> let. I think he just. It sounded like he was pretty preoccupied with the one guy. Given that he, they, he cut off his whole head. They showed the footage ear, on the nose. They had his footage of it, tongue. like video footage of it. They. Showed I remember it, on the news. it was just he was just on the yeah. bus. Ugh. that's a whole like like not even a funny topic just like oh there's just unchecked unwell people out mm. in the world that yeah i don't think it's that they i think it's the it's cost prohibitive for a crazy person to get on a plane yeah. it used to be yeah sure i'll give you that's a good point that's a very good point there that being said speaking of crazy people on plane the southwest vault has led to an increase in ticket buys for greyhound which is yeah what's like i can't imagine people thinking i'm fucking pissed i can't fly southwest was one of the cheaper airlines and actually i think southwest is a pretty good airline no um, i suspect it's because they're you know they sorry hold on it's okay i stir I uh think, their system you I'm know like their pilot to, sis, oh. the their scheduling system was inaccurate so when yeah so when whatever that big storm happened everyone got stranded everywhere and i think greyhound was the only way for them to get back out 
is what I suspect that. Oh, is that oh, what that's okay. where I yeah. thought it was the. Oh, can we go back to this guy yep. Vince? Who is waiting for him in Winnipeg? Like, if you're already like, man, I got this knife and shit's about to go down. Why the change of location? <laughs> that's the question. <laughs> Maybe it's like a kind of thing like. It's a oh, and the guy was asleep. Now this is making me scared to fall asleep. Now I don't want to fall asleep mm. on the bus. Yeah, this guy's Maybe ruined like my whole immersive kind of experience. Thing. Like with the headphones. He yeah. almost. He was all like, if he get if he got to Winnipeg by eight o'clock, but there was a delay, and then he just lost it because his meds ran out or something. I don't know. Yeah, I said something about yeah. that when I did That's play sad. in Winnipeg uh, for, on a, just like a Greyhound, and then the people got all quiet, yeah. and, the, and this guy came up to me after he goes. Uh, you know, this is where that guy sold that other guy's head off for whatever. And I was oh, like, no, no, thanks, man. <laughs> Which is pretty exceptional for Canada. <laughs> yeah, like as a... You do that. That shit goes down to like Wisconsin or Iowa. You're like, yeah, we yeah. got we got those kinds. Yeah. Yeah. We, got, we got those types. We really got to figure out why Canada deals with the cold depression so much better than, than our... Are murder states like Iowa, Wisconsin? I don't like. I, there's I, yeah. So this Vice article has like, okay, what's going on? Like, yeah, this is good. A uh, guy running down the aisle. Everybody's gonna die now. Kicking open a partition and it's like trying to grab the wheel of the bus. This is a good one, though. I do think the driver. Sh- I do think the driver should have a little like taser. Still enough that you can't just run up, yeah, and grab the wheel yeah. on on the dude. Yeah. Like they should be in I do a like this. cage. Mm. A, a Greyhound bus traveling through Nashville, Tennessee, accidentally lost a few canisters of frozen bull semen along the side of the road. They were discovered as the bull mm. semen melted and leaked out of the canisters, producing a foul order. Why would anyone transport frozen <sighs> bull cum on a bus? How does something like this accidentally fall? You know, it's just fucking Jesus Christ. Where's the, there was one more that was insane. Uh, Oh, this is awesome. I mean, <laughs> that's probably because you couldn't mail it. <laughs> I can't mail the <laughs> cut on the bus. In March of some recent year, riders on a Greyhound Lucky Streak, a bus from Atlantic City to New Jersey to New York City, Atlantic City, New Jersey to New York City, reported an infestation of cockroaches swarming <laughs> out of the vents. The post apocalyptic scene included roaches falling from the ceiling and scurrying up passengers' legs and closing into their belongings. Greyhound sent out a new bus and refunded the passengers' tickets. Sick. All right, they made good on it. Oh, God, that's not even close. <laughs> if, if, what? If they were like, <laughs> Greyhound is That's in happening it. in somebody who's no, that's happening in someone's apartment right now that you know in New York City, and they ain't getting rent money back. <laughs> yeah, it's not happening to me. <clears throat> They're just putting they're just putting duct tape over their outlets. <laughs> These greyhounds like, oh, we agree that was bad. God. That's like just when you've seen it all. And then there was I do like this one. A veteran greyhound driver, tired of driving human the human sewage truck that is a greyhound, <laughs> became so heated in an argument with a sixty mm-hmm. five year old passenger on the route to St. Louis from Memphis. Halfway through she pulled the bus over, stepped out, and locked the door behind her. Incredulous passengers called the police, who ordered the driver to get back on. And she only drove for another 35 minutes and got out and quit. Just left him on the side of the yeah. fucking road. <clears throat> I, I'm i surprised that's not more frequent. Yeah, I don't. With a Greyhound. Yeah, I like. This whole, this whole the customer's always right mm-hmm. shit is done. It's over. I think people in the service industry have been abused enough. And this whole like, and also uh, yeah, both way videotaping every Karen, mm. yeah, that's freaking out. Like, I will say on that the, again to be distracted. Sometimes you have a right to be mad at employ. Sometimes they're a shitty employees of a business. Yes, and you can be mad at them. Hundred in a different sense. I, I, you could also be like, no, you're bad at your job and you're treating me like shit, and I'm paying you money for a thing you're not doing. A hundred, a hundred. Not everybody's not everybody's a Karen. Yeah, yeah. Uh. 100%. Like, I don't normally take anything out on a person who's serving me something unless they just come no. in so hot. But I told... Unless it's their fault, yeah. Yeah. 
this guy, I was going to get, I went to Milk Bar to get ice cream. I was celebrating because I just got in the notice I was going to do Conan for the first time. Mm. And I went with my buddy. Yeah. Saying, and every time the guy who was serving people was like, what can I get you? Like he was a real dick. And then, uh, yeah. And, uh, uh, he came up to me, he was doing it to everyone. He was like a prick. And he came up when I was at the counter and he started and he goes, and I go, what? And I go, can I get you like that? <laughs> <laughs> and he took a moment and he was like so mad. And I was like, give me two scoops of the whatever, you know, like, and he just. <laughs> two scoops of a better attitude, yeah. buddy. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the fucking sometimes, man. But like on the Greyhound bus, you know, it's not like they're just freaking out. It's they've taken. It a is beating. hard to tell, yeah. Who who's wrong? Is the driver? Because as we've said, the drivers could be a little spicy. A pilot, you uh, you had to go through a lot of training, yeah, and a lot of that stuff. The Greyhound driver, I don't know how much you had to do. I mean, I got you got a CDL, but, but there's probably somebody that went from just driving yeah. semi trucks full of like washer dryers. To a to a Home Depot, and now oh, we got live, we got livestock <laughs> the back there. We got right human, yeah. <laughs> yeah, human transport. This stuff bites back. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe yeah, there has to be all, I don't know. all that I don't know. isolation and just seeing the world go by and only seeing numbers count down to places you're trying to get to. It's got to drive you a little mad, and and more like I know teachers are on the front line with kids being fucking maniacs. Mm -hmm. But bus drivers with just one giant rear view mirror to just see 11 year old criminals Thank behind you Bar. doing everything and knowing like I could put this whole thing in a Creek right now <laughs> and save this community <laughs> and just, uh, just end the bloodline and the bloodline of people who shouldn't even have had grandparents at this point. <laughs> I'll stop it now. I will improve society. I, well, this, I'm not a bus driver. That's why I have these thoughts. Just, just thinking about the shit I did on a bus. Like, yeah. yeah. I'm just like, I'm responsible for these people who the just, who probably the only job they're going to be able to get is the one I have if they graduate high school. You know, like the. And How to, more kids never got tossed out of that emergency door in the back? That has to happen way more often than we realize, and that's one of the things. Like, let's keep this story quiet. <laughs> of how many bullies just hog tossed twinks out of the back door? <laughs> well, guys, who just y'all hog tossing twinks? I think, I think at my high school there was a bus. I think for some reason I recall a story of one a bus stopping at a red light and some kid just be like, "Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here," and they just opened the door and get jumped out. And left. Yeah. 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 How are you going to trust a kid with a door with a. Yeah. How are you going to trust a kid? I'll stop the sentence right there. Oh, shit. The only good bus driver, Otto <sighs> from The Simpsons. And Charlene. That's my man. I used to drive a bus. What? You're a bus, you're a bus driver, yes, Charlene? Sir. For what? high school, school bus? Kids, yeah. I drove the short bus. How? Why did you wait this long to did, tell? Yeah. How, how'd you do? Yeah, <laughs> I on, mean, I did crash it a couple. I did crash it a couple times. They're surprisingly difficult to drive. <laughs> um, I just put on Jamma ninety five five and let them do them and just ignored them. That's the only way to get through it. <laughs> so that's the, that was the thing. Wait like the love, the, like <laughs> the monk like focus. <laughs> What's the wor what, what's the worst thing that happened when you were driving a bus? I hit a tree. How did you do that? Um, yeah, what, come on. Well, <laughs> luckily the kids had already gotten off the bus, so I was in the bus by myself. But uh, I w was going in reverse, and I don't have very good eye depth perception, whatever you call that. And uh, oh, you backed into a tree. Uh, yeah, but I knocked the whole like mirror situation completely right off the bus. So you have 
poor depth perception, mm-hmm. and they they put me into a let you yeah. drive uh-huh. some of the most vulnerable students. That's true. Yes. <laughs> well, <Yep>. what you, <laughs> we're, we're not taking any valedictorians out of the running. Give Charlene the short well, one because <laughs> I, I drove the bus and then had to teach. <laughs> well, kidding, you're not driving. To, you're not driving money. the kids. <laughs> I had to drive. We're not driving the kids to the spelling bee here. To drive the bus and then teach them science. <laughs> Uh, what fuck podunk Portland school district Portland was this? District. <laughs> you backwater. I'm the bus driver. I'm the science teacher. And then we did carpentry well, afterwards. No, we, we, we cleaned up the parks. And they got paid to clean up the parks. Um, Forest Park. The, wait, you taught the short bus kids science? Yeah, and then they spent the rest of the afternoon oh, so cleaning it, the parks. So it's just like baking soda, vinegar, volcanoes, yeah. and then picking up yes. trash. Yep. That yeah, doesn't sound so it bad. It was pretty fun, nice. actually. That's oh, cool. <laughs> sounds kind of nice. <laughs> well, let's go to the callers. <laughs> I, I will. I will say, I did have the. I did have like quintessential out of the bus driver. Like I had a dude who wired his home. Remember before car audio was a thing, and people would put. Their, sta- yeah. their speakers from their home stereo yeah. yes, yes. in the back yep. seat. He did that in the front of the butt, like where you walk oh, up nice. and then back. Yeah. You had to walk around his two speakers <laughs> and he would just play like Van Halen <laughs> and he would drive like a maniac and we loved it. <laughs> of course you did. We just play heavy metal. <laughs> He's like, we got the good bump coming up and everybody would sit on the back <laughs> wheels and jump and he'd hit it. <laughs> We were just hitting the ceiling of the bus. Oh, that's fun. That guy, what? That guy was like the sub when the five other subs couldn't <laughs> right, make right, it. Right, right. And you could tell they woke him up from a bender. Like we got these kids, got to get to school, and nobody else is available. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, he ruled. <laughs> Greyhound's great. Greyhound's got a lot of cool stuff. Let's go here. Oh, Benefits yeah, of Greyhound. Did, I did see this Let's too. Yeah, mm-hmm. please. Yeah, a lot of nice thing on Greyhound. Eco-friendly en- engines, all right, whatever. But they do nice things for people, wow. right? Mm-hmm. Like a free so ticket here, home for they, runaway kids. I mean, God, I mean, that was kind of a necess- that's kind of necessary though because they can't have all because that's where they are. Is runaway kids are at bus stations, <laughs> so like it's kind that's of, true. It's kind of like well. Hey, we're getting kind of overloaded down here in Richmond. Can we serve? Can we send up a few of these kids? A bigger oh my ma- god! Oh. Taking a bus back to the thing you wanted to leave in the first yeah. place—that sounds rough. It is how they solved the homeless. Uh, they work with the red. Go ahead, sorry. Yeah, they work with the Red Cross in times of emergency and natural disasters, sending our buses to where they need it most. That's a good thing. Free ticket home for the kids. Free rides for organ transplant patients. I mean, their heart's in the right place, not the <laughs> not the passenger, but that's where they're first. going. But they, but yeah, oh, and they help, I don't think they help vets get to your new kidneys going to benefit. Yeah, I don't think your new kidneys going to benefit <laughs> from a twelve-hour bus ride. <laughs> uh, can you imagine? They do, like, the, can you these imagine are a lot of nice things. Taking a bus to get a new kidney, and then just being like. Oh, there was a delay. 7,000 cockroaches climbed all over me. Oh, God. <laughs> they left me at the Bucky's. <laughs> you know, it takes me a little longer. It takes me a little longer in the bathroom on account of the, on account going, of the, going to get the my organs that are failing inside of me. <laughs> I'm going to get my new kidney. No one's doing this. Uh, uh, no no I'm one's sorry, helping me do you... this on my own because I'm taking a free Greyhound bus ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting here pissing blood in the Bucky's bathroom. They oh, left without oh me. My God. <laughs> now it's just me and my colostomy <laughs> bag hitchhiking to Amarillo. <laughs> in this 128, 128 ounce of sweet tea. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what got me into, into the first place. But I figure if I'm getting a new one, I might as well have a vice. <laughs> hey, drive it till the wheels fall off, oh, baby. That's God. what I said. But they do. But they do discounted bus tickets to travelers who need help completing their journey. Uh, vulnerable young people, elderly person who might have missed their bus, or somebody who's just down on their luck. That's pretty tight, Greyhound. That's good. Yeah, I'll give them that. Given that's 
That's every passenger know, on right? Greyhound. <laughs> 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 it's not like, oh, everything's up, coming up Kyle. Let me get on this bus. <laughs> oh. All right. That's, All right. I just wanted to get that out there because I, 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 I root for the Greyhound. I like them. Yeah. It's not, it's not, I mean, we did get to some, a lot of the crazy shit that happens on that is not on Greyhound, I guess is what we need to recognize. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the accessibility. Yeah. Not the Greyhound's fault. <laughs> yes. Well, we're going to take another quick break from this hair restoration company or something. I don't know. And we're back. And it's me and the little kitty cat. Let's go to the college right now. I got nothing just bouncing this out. <laughs> now. Okay. Here's the, I hated all here's of Here's the that. first I know, Kyle. call. Let's pretend Your face it says never otherwise. <laughs> hey, what's up? This you know is what? Carson from uh, DFW. <laughs> How's it going, Char Dog? Uh, uh, calling about the Greyhound <laughs> bus. Um, I personally don't have experience with it, but I remember one time we went on a um, family road trip from Portland over to. Uh, Cedar Point, Ohio, and mm -hmm. um, a couple of my older brothers were just being absolute jackasses, and my dad gave them one last warning of, like, you're going to get sent home. Like, we will kick your ass back home. And I think my older brother, who was 16 at the time, mouthed off later on, and uh, my dad bought him a Greyhound bus ticket and um, sent him back to Portland by himself. And I don't remember where it happened, but he got mugged halfway through and had all his money that he got sent with stolen. Either that or he made the whole thing up and uh, and just spent it. But um, as with most public transit, I imagine it's just probably gotten so much worse during the pandemic. So, wow. but yeah, love the show. I... Keep, keep going on. Meow. Wow. Thank you. Man, I'm going to need a follow-up on what your brother and your father's relationship is like today. <laughs> I, I want to know if that's... Whoo, I don't know if you come back from that one. That's a little spicy. Yeah. The also, what do you say? Like, mouthed off and got cross-country greyhounded home? God. That's where I'd be like, just punch me. God. I, I, will I, respect, I just don't want to ride the bus for that I respect the zeal long. of a father. A father just being like, I'm done. This is what you're doing now. Oh, God. I bet that. I bet for a... <laughs> I bet for a little bit that felt really good to the dad in the car and everyone else was fucking church mouse quiet. <laughs> like, again, again, you just have Charlene, just like your, your story. Yeah. yeah. How, long, how long before like, all right, I didn't really think this plan out all the way. God, I love it. Okay, maybe we could catch up with the bus and get him. Also, getting mugged. I mean, I know it probably happened at a bus station or at a stop, but I, also I can imagine somebody's gotten robbed on the bus by somebody who's also on the bus, and then that Oof. was it. Like, man, you ride another give me your iPod. Back to Portland. <laughs> yeah, it's just that's <laughs> it. Nice yeah, with the asshole. <laughs> God, yeah. Give me your, give me your lunch. <laughs> like, your yeah, cafeteria rules. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What a crazy thing. Let me trade. I'll trade shoes with you. <laughs> God. Oh. oh, poor Beta on the bus. Yeah. He's getting. <laughs> please oh. call. Please call back and tell us uh, how <laughs> that relationship yeah. has gone with your family. Because I, you were, you were laughing about it, caller. So we feel yeah. all right. Please let about us know it. how south. That's of, a, please let us know how south of the border was. And you guys finally got Oof. that. Yeah, that's some cold-blooded shit, man. <laughs> Your dad kicks ass. <laughs> Here's the next one. He, he kicks somebody's oh. ass. All right. Hold on. Here we go. Hi, this is Amy in Spokane, Washington. Uh, so my thoughts on the Greyhound Hello, bus. Amy. I've taken the Greyhound bus numerous times. Um, and I have quite the stories of, you know, having people messed out, uh, especially in Eastern Washington. Um, 
freaking tweaking out yeah. on the bus. And honestly, mm. I'd much rather hitchhike than be stuck on a Greyhound bus ever again. Uh, I think it is probably the worst way to travel. Um, and I guess it depends what part of the country you're in, but this part of the country, uh, traveling like, I mean, I've only traveled as far as like Seattle, maybe Portland on the Greyhound bus. And I kind of feel like it's a waste of money. I mean, for a four and a half hour trip when it takes eight hours sometimes <laughs> to get there because of not only stops, but again, cracked out people. Oh. Uh, yeah, not worth it. I think it's creepy and gross and the amount of opportunities you're going to get uh for getting bed bugs is not oh, worth it no. um surprisingly we've never oh. had that happen but i've definitely been followed on a greyhound by a creep who threatened to kill me and i mean granted he was also kicked off said greyhound bus and yeah terrible uh but yeah no greyhound terrible awful so horrible Anyway, love you guys. And Kyle, I'm really excited to see you in Spokane. Uh, Have a good day. Thanks, Amy. Thank you, Amy. Can I say, please do not hitchhike Mm. in eastern Washington. (laughs) That's like where all of our best serial killers are from. (laughs) It's it's fair. There's a lot of of national parks out there for burying. Um, Yeah, that's... Yeah, to please, I think hitch, hitchhiking will be worse. It'll be worse than the Greyhound. Yeah. It'll be worse. Most likely. But the uh, bed bugs thing is horrifying. Oh. I'm seeing reports on like public transit and everything. I'm not seeing uh, too much about Greyhound necessarily. Okay. Oh man, mm-hmm. what do you? Oh god, this is just I don't a Avo, which is like some knockoff Cura. Yeah, you could tell you could tell by the 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 uh, the phrasing of this question, the way it's written. Can I use Greyhound for contacting bed bugs and bed bug bites? I'm gonna go that English is a second language here. <laughs> <laughs> On a bus ride from Chicago to Toledo last night, I fell asleep and woke awoke to bites all over the back of my head and shoulders. Mm. Oh God! Ah. Okay. Oh, this is a lawyer website. <laughs> this is, a, it's like, this oh, is just a website about them. class oh, action websites. God. It's just people seeing if there's a class action going on, and it's somebody seeing. All right. That's, so I don't I don't see anything about. Uh, on Greyhound, okay. but there's some uh, people have brought it up about. Do you think the trip. amount of people who got off a Greyhound bus in March of 2020 who got COVID, who just thought it was mm-hmm. like, yeah, man, I'm just fucked because I was on a Greyhound, and then just thought they could kind of walk I, it off. <laughs> I don't wear like I don't wear a mask on the plane, but there definitely is. If somebody's egregiously just coughing or sneezing, it's like, come on, man. Yeah. I carry one in like, my backpack. I carry one in my backpack and I kind of like, it's a just in case. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Oh yeah. It's all performative. Oh, we're doing, doing the math. But, but I, when somebody's just like, <coughs> like mm-hmm. yeah. no, you should, and you shouldn't have been doing that before either. <laughs> yeah. Like, that was still gross before. But there's the kind of fucking psycho who won't cover their face. Oh, but on a, on a bus that somebody's definitely used the seat in front of them to wipe their nose. Yeah. So. You were going to get called so many slurs. Using a mask on a bus on a greyhound. <laughs> the amount, the amount of, the amount of unkind things people are gonna say. <laughs> we got another, we got another mm-hmm. caller. Hey, my name is Jim Brady from New Jersey. Right, love the greyhound bus. Uh, one time we had a bachelor party all the way up in Maryland. Uh, we couldn't bring drugs with us, so we had to boof them. And you bring them on the bus. There's no dog sniffing drugs. Dogs at the bus station. Good stuff, you know. Bus, no. great way to travel. It actually sucks being on the bus, but if you're bringing drugs, it's the only way to go. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah. Concise and to the point. That's Hannibal's got a Hannibal's got a bit about why he likes taking trains and it's for the same reason. <laughs> Nobody's checking your shit. There. Yeah. Here's the next. I uh I did I did a tra- I did a train from Portland to Los Angeles and you could tell all the 
all the tweakers would run off at every stop <laughs> and then get back on and just have conversations <laughs> with anybody. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. There is, I guess the, the, the security is so like there's some advantages to it. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't want to be on drugs on the bus. Though. No, I think it'd be fucking horrible. Oh God. Let's go. Uh, let's have also. Call. So your bachelor party did one guy take the bus to oh. be the mule, or if there because if there was a bachelor party on the Greyhound, that's yeah. hell. Because mm -hmm. a bachelor party is mm -hmm. hell. Mm -hmm. Where was he going? He's going to Balt. He was going to Baltimore. He goes from somewhere Jersey. in Maryland, somewhere from New Jersey. That's not short. That's a few hours. There, three or four hours probably. Oh, fuck! You could fly back My. if you get rid of all your drugs, though. Ooh, good point. Yeah. So if you have a really good time, yeah. Let's go to another call. All right. All right. Okay. Here's the next. Let's one. do it. Hey, Kyle. Hey, Shane. Um, my grandpa was a Greyhound bus driver for let's say thirty-five something years around there, and he would get up in the morning, sit on the toilet, and my grandma would give him two cups of coffee while he was on the toilet so he could clear himself out for the long drive that he was going to have to wait. You know, he'd get up at like 5.30 in the morning, and he would have to wait until lunch to eat and poop. And, uh, yeah, that's I, I've never been on a Greyhound bus, but I assume it's, it's similar to giving your grandfather coffee while he's pooping with the door open. Um, anyway, that's my opinion. See ya. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, man. I would do. Well, God I bless would, your grandfather. I, I would do tours with Dave Stone, and he would go the opposite. He would just lock it all up. He would just take a modium, <laughs> just to tuck it all in. I'm like, dog, that is not the way to do it, man. You're you're sitting there, you're eating barbecue three times a day for a week straight and now you're just gonna it's like plug it up <laughs> like oh. it's like it's a wet like it's a well full of ghosts <laughs> and they just pull a 12 hour drive home like that's not good for your body man i like this i like this method before let's, if I had a big let's one, try I'd and go, make I'd, weight i go with the coffee one this guy jesus yeah. dave like He's got a big. He's got a big fight tomorrow. He's got to make weight. <laughs> I think the amount of relief you would feel, Dave, must have felt after having biting finally shit though. <laughs> mm. I don't know if he has. Oh my. He might. He might never. Oh. I don't know, man. The guy. I just out of curiosity, I wanted to look at. I just was looking at the map. I went from Bellingham to West Palm Beach, Florida. Two hundred eighty bucks. Mm -hmm. It is a hundred and one hours. It's four, four, four days. It's four days. Four days. A hundred one days and change. A hundred and one hours on schedule. The crazy if thing every, is, if every it's a hundred and one hours, if everything goes right, right. it's on only five. It's only five stops. Oh, it's a straight shot. You go from you go to Bellingham to Portland, mm -hmm. Sacra Portland to Sacramento. Mm -hmm. Sacramento to LA, LA to Dallas, Dallas to Atlanta. LA to Dallas halls long. Oh no, I'm not looking at all the stops. Yeah. Um, these are transfers. Okay, mm. oh, yeah, five transfers. Mm. There's less transfers on a flight to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a big. Uh, this is a big ordeal. Mm. Oh fuck that! For that price, you could fly. That's one way. For that price, you no. Could fly. When you look at all right, well, we when you look at, just because I was on there yesterday, round trip is basically the same price. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, some people. Yeah. Do you want a day day trips? It's shall great. we do two more? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's do two more. We'll let's do another. Yeah, okay, let's hear. Hey, Kyle, Shane, Charlene. This is a Jacob from Texas, long time listener, big fan, all that. All the. Uh, the call for Greyhound buses, and you know, I think they get a bad rap, like a like a pre-date to a poor man's Uber. But you know what? We wouldn't have any of the hijinks or the shenanigans from seventies and eighties movies. They didn't have to worry about catching a Greyhound. And how else are you going to see the country and every Waffle House on the south side of or on the southern United States unless you're traveling on a Greyhound bus? Keep doing the thing. Love the podcast. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> 
I don't know. I'm trying to think of what movies involved the Greyhound bus in the 80s and mm. the 70s. Mm. I'm sure there's something, but I don't know. But I kind of like his attitude of like, you know, like his attitude. I do too. His, yeah, his approach is like, is that so goddamn bad? And I do. So uh, stopping at a Waffle House for an hour America, in the middle of a, yeah. in the middle of a, a Greyhound bus ride. Man, I bet that's fucking, ha- I bet you there's a real community happening in that Waffle House. Mars attack. No, I mean community by, by a, a bus full of people all <laughs> emptying into the same toilet because they all just ate at Waffle House. <laughs> Ew. Oh. Could you imagine going, <laughs> like, sorry. That's such a hell shift. Bro. It does. Like, I, the, the Waffle House Waffle bathrooms House are shift. no joke. The 1 a.m. Waffle House. Dude, shift. it looks like, yeah. It looks like the spray booth of an Earl Scheib. It is fucking the- gnarly in those things. Mm. God, that must. Mm. I imagine nothing graveyard- from the Earl, I, I Earl imagine- Scheib didn't hit it. <laughs> I imagine Greyhound bus drivers and graveyard Waffle House shift workers have the same admiration for each other, like different branches of the military do. <laughs> like, like they all see yeah. the same kind of shit. <laughs> like- <laughs> You should you should be able to ca- op- open carry for those people. Mm-hmm. Uh, people in Waffle House should have sidearms. Yeah, Let's, we did that episode. Check it out, episode something. We did, yeah. I, yeah. I feel like I feel like yeah, bus driver. I mean, there should be some. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you could. There Maybe should- they already do though. I was in I was in a lift early days of lift, and I remember it was like there was three or three or four of us and she was a, just a nice lady and we were like oh well hey be careful thank you for giving us a ride we we're being fun i'm like hope you're being safe she's like oh i'm great and pulled out a cattle prod out from the center console mm-hmm. she's like i'm ready and she's like and that's only the thing i'm gonna show you i have mm-hmm. in here so mm-hmm. yeah watch out yeah yeah they're packing they should at least get so. like a, a a nightstick or something yeah for them uber yeah uber's like the opposite of hitchhiking yeah we're like the oh it's, it's the passenger's car. gonna be the maniac yeah no yeah. It's a, yeah yeah uh, i had an uber driver in detroit uh, pull out a pistol and show it to a guy who came up to the car uh, who, who was coming up to the car just like a kind of aggressive homeless guy and then uh then he he left the window of the car well, he didn't come go. back yeah Work. And then I made my flight. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Uh, let's do. Let's do one okay. more. Yeah. Here's the last one. Hey, Shane, Kyle, Charlene, meow meow, long time listener. Uh, first off, I wanted to say I don't understand how Shane is still single because I would be all over that. And if you're ever in a Wisconsin area, I will be there, and I will be there to see that show. Anyhow, calling in on my opinion about Greyhound buses. Now, I frequently everybody. This is the last episode. I have to Can we pause? 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 Shane, Kyle. (laughs) This is the only time I've seen you in the good mood on this episode of the podcast. (laughs) This. Look how much you're smiling. Hot little cheese curd has something for you, buddy. <laughs> and I am guessing she is all right with the Greyhound, so she'll come see you. <laughs> oh, and you the Greyhound. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for this. <laughs> That's so sweet. Well, all right, go. Let's see what else she has. What else she's got to say? Connect in Milwaukee to head down to Chicago for shows. I personally think mm-hmm. it's pretty great. It's a nice, you know, little trip, you know, see a little bit more than you would just <laughs> driving in a car. My roommate has taken longer trips, and he said it's been the absolute worst experience of his life, having to, you know, drive for hours down freaking Cornhusker Highway in Nebraska. Nothing to look at. But I feel like you'd have that same experience in a car. You know, yeah, you get some sketchy people mm-hmm. there on Greyhound buses and stuff, but I mean, there's sketchy people on trains and airplanes, wherever you go, there's sketchy, <laughs> weird people. Like, you just deal with it. So, yeah, I, I don't see why Greyhound gets so much hate. 
Have a great day, guys. Now the Milwaukee to New York Greyhound <laughs> is 26 hours and 24 minutes. How long? That is a hundred. That is a, it's a 26 hour and 24 minute, just over a day. Hundred, hundred and thirty two. Not that long a trip for love. Mm-mm. Not that long a trip. No, that's the, that's the, that's the Port Authority. I don't know if we want to do this to this wonderful young lady. <laughs> Maybe we can get her to the mid Midtown, Thirty First Street and Eighth Avenue. What's closer to you, Shane? Where are you at? George Washington Bridge. Oh, they're all none of none of them are close. They're all equally. Important. I like. I like. Can we play the beginning of that one again? Mm-hmm. What are you doing? Hey, Shane, Kyle, Charlene, meow meow, long time listener. Uh, first <laughs> off, I wanted to say I don't understand how Shane is first still off. single because I would be all over that. And if you're ever in a Wisconsin area, I will be there and Very I will be flattering. there to see that show. All right. Okay. 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 That's Shane. Uh, let's go to Shane as a comedian dot com. I believe that's your <laughs> socials, right? <laughs> Look who's remembering websites and kind of mm. plugging finally. Hmm. I'm not playing. I'm just where seeing you're where you're, if you're playing. Uh, <laughs> I don't yeah, have one. Yeah, where are we at here? We got uh, not much happening. There's where plenty getting, of. Where are you gonna get? To? I don't know what where to gonna, do. Where are you gonna get to? Uh, where are you gonna get to the Midwest, there, buddy? I got a. Uh, I got well, Chicago. I, I can't announce the Chicago. I can't announce those Chicago shows yet, but they're coming. You can't, except you just did. Well, I didn't say where they are or when they are. So I could, I could say I'm coming to Chicago. Okay. All right. Well, I know somebody who doesn't mind taking a bus from Milwaukee down to Chicago <laughs> okay. for shows. This is very sweet. I'm very flattered. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Uh, <laughs> Kyle hasn't smiled all day, mm-hmm. and now he's shaking his shoulders like a like they're I like. I like. You like seeing me. You seem like you seem like a fella that needs to be snatched up. <laughs> Last thing somebody said to me on a greyhound. <laughs> you seem like a fella that needs to be snatched up. <laughs> you will be absconded with. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, love what a great, too. what That's a great, goal fun way to I'm end. I'm thrilled with this. Yeah. 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 Woo! Uh, all right. All righty. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you to Charlene. Mm-hmm. Kyle, tell them where they can find you. Uh, yes, thank you, everybody. Thank you, Charlene. KyleKanane.com. I'll be at the Bottle Rocket October 6th, and uh, May Hall's October 7th in Cleveland. And I'll be ringing in the new year in Portland, Oregon, at Helium Comedy Club. Woo-hoo. Back where it all started. I'm sure Kyle will come by at some point if he's in town. Who knows? <laughs> and Shane is comedian out down Shane Torres. Uh, thank you to everyone who has been uh, commenting on Good News Tuesday on Instagram, by the way. I, I really like sending the postcards. It's fun. So <laughs> We're done now. I got to go call that woman. Charlene, you saved her number, right? Goodbye. <laughs>